when in doubt always to see this is what people tell me when i ask them that how do you solve questions which you don't know answers of so this is a very famous line which people mostly use and they say that whenever we don't know an answer of any question and we sit in an mcq based exam in that case we always to see because when in doubt always to see uh i really laugh at such comments because somewhere down the line i feel that they are baseless they don't have any scientific findings uh, to support them and that is what abraham lincoln once said that always independently verify advice given to you by eighth graders named jimmy so he classified all these people who give such bullshit advice under the category of eighth graders who are termed as jimmy so these people will give you some advices which shall have no scientific backing they'll just talk because they have heard it from somewhere and that is how somewhere we channelize our exam preparation also The first advice that I would like to give you is that please go to the exam hall with a fresh mind. What happens is that people keep on studying till late night and the next day when they go to the exam hall I've seen that they do silly mistakes they sometimes you know they are not able to uh, solve questions in the time duration and all these problems come when you are actually not using the full potential of your brain your brain is an extremely powerful machine and it can help you in a tremendous way but it can only help you when it has got enough rest and when it is charged up so it is very important that before the day of your exam you have a good sleep i slept at like 8 pm that day and i woke up at 5 am so i had a pretty decent sleep of 9 hours before this day i was sleeping for like hardly 2 3 hours but that was okay but on the day of exam i did not compromise on my sleep because my mind's full potential can only be used when it is fresh plus there'll be times when you will not be knowing the answers of certain questions and you have to work it out in that cases if your mind is not in a proper condition to work you might not be able to come up with a solution and when you will solve the paper 5 10 days later you might see that this question was so easy i could have done it but why you did not do it on the exam day because your mind was not functioning properly so that is why it is very important that on the day of your exam you are fresh okay you are fully charged up you are all rejuvenated you are all active and you are all ready to fight the battle the second important tip that you must keep in your mind when you are attempting the question paper is that please read every question at least twice why am i focusing so much on reading the question twice because you need to understand the question properly before you actually solve it there are times when you don't understand the language of the question in the first time and you just try to answer the question based on your understanding or your knowledge of the answer you don't actually read what the question is demanding plus there are times when you might uh, get into the trap there are uh, people who set up traps when they or uh, prepare the question paper they'll make sure that you might fall into that trap and you might not be able to reach to the correct option in that cases when you read the question twice you are able to identify the trap for example if in the question there is a word always or never and you have not read it in the first time you might answer the question thinking in your mind that always was not there in a as a part of the question but when you reread the question you know that okay this word always or this word never changed the entire meaning of the question and the correct answer became the wrong answer so you need to read the question at least twice plus always remember one thing guys that whenever you are solving an mcq paper don't be in a hurry there are times when students have this habit that they are so tempted uh, after reading the question that they know that they they are aware of the answer and they directly mark the mcq they will not look at the other options also it is very important that you look at the question and then at the answers and then you mark the right answer so beware of this thing that whenever you are presented with a question please read the question twice then look at the mcqs and you can follow the tip that i have already given in the last video when i have talked about the three categories of question that you will encounter and how to solve each and every question 
so in that case you need to eliminate certain options and then you need to work it out so this is the proper way to attempt any question plus you need to be beware about certain special type of questions for example there are assertion reason question they are very simple to attempt but if you don't know the trick you will make a mistake so it's always good that if you are not able to answer assertion reason correctly go to youtube search for how to solve assertion reason questions and you will get so many uh youtube videos on it watch two three videos you will be able to understand that the solving such questions are very easy same case is with match the following that in case of match the following just like we used to do when we were kids we used to match the options and then we used to attempt the question please don't do it in your mind if you have the pen then you mark it on the paper you mark all the options and then look at the options provided that is how you can avoid making any mistake because if we try to do such things in our head somewhere down the line due to the habit of panicking or due to the habit of rushing we make simple silly mistakes to avoid these silly mistakes follow the strategy that please don't rush when you are reading questions don't rush when you are reading the options don't rush when you are reading or marking options sometimes when we read the question for the first time we are not able to answer the question but if we read it second time we are able to automatically answer the question correctly the next tip that i would like to give you is that please do not mark the answers on the answer sheet for the first time when you're solving the paper do all the work in the question paper itself do not mark the answers in the omr sheet because what happens is after you mark the answer in the omr sheet you cannot change it at any cost so keep on working with the question paper keep on marking eliminating keep on making symbols keep on doing all the rough work in the question paper and later once you are through with the question paper you can now mark the final answer in the answer sheet but understand one thing guys that whenever you are marking these answer take enough time to mark don't make this mistake that in 2 hours you are devoting 1 hour 55 minutes in solving the paper and in last 1 hour you are trying to mark all the answers and you are making mistake in the sequence of marking the answer or you are not able to mark 10 or 15 answers this was a mistake done by a few of my friends they were so involved in solving the paper that they did not mark it in the omr sheet nobody will know what answers you marked in the question paper all you have to show is the omr sheet and that omr sheet will determine the result of your exam so make it a point that before 15 minutes when the paper ends before 15 minutes you put your pen down and you start marking the answers so that you are able to mark all the answers in peace of mind okay please make sure you do this and before 15 or 20 minutes you can take even 25 minutes if you think that you are uh, slow at marking answers or you might make mistake uh, due to less time you can take 25 minutes also but before that time don't mark anything on the answer paper keep on marking all the right answer in the question paper so that after few minutes if you want to change the answer you have the option to do that okay so play smart don't be in a hurry think about it and only then make a move the next important tip that i would like to give you is that please do not leave any question i think it is self explanatory if there is no negative marking in any exam you should never miss any uh, question you should never leave any question so please make sure that you don't leave any question even if you don't know the answer try to work on the basis of your instinct or try to go with the gut feeling and mark a an answer which sounds good to you plus also check before leaving the exam hall that you have marked all the questions you have marked all the answers in the mcq okay so sometimes it happens that when we are marking all the answers in the mcq we tend to forget two or three questions so just count the bubbles and check whether 100 bubbles are there in the omr sheet 100 filled bubbles are there in the omr sheet that will be a very important thing to check because somewhere down the line what students do is that they will mark all the answers correctly in the question paper but when it comes to marking the questions in the omr sheet they might skip two three questions now those two three question will cost you six marks that can either determine you your net or can put you in the category which will not clear net so that six marks or two marks will 
determine your future so please be sure that you have marked all the answers in the OMR sheet plus make sure one more important thing that I would like to tell you here is that whenever you are filling OMR sheet before the day of your exam take a printout of a sample OMR sheet and try to fill the bubbles sometimes students don't know how to fill bubbles they they might end up filling bubbles in a wrong manner which will not be detected by the computer machine see guys these are really very simple tips you might end up feeling as if these tips you already know yes I know that everybody knows these tips but in spite of the fact we sometimes neglect the importance of these important tips sometimes we don't Focus on such small things which might turn into a blunder on the day of your exam. So you must know how to fill the bubbles. I myself have not given any competitive exams before I gave my net paper. So I made sure that I got the printout of a sample OMR sheet and I marked the bubbles. I practiced marking about 20-30 bubbles so that I might not end up making any mistake on the day of the exam. So these are few things that you can keep in mind and it's always good to be on the safer side. So with that note, I end my video. I I hope that these tips will prove beneficial and you'll be able to achieve your goal your target i wish you all the best you can subscribe to my youtube channel because i'm running this uh, sunday series especially for people who are preparing for july's net exam so that they can get benefited from the tips and strategies that i'm sharing which will prove beneficial on the day of the exam if you like this video do give it a big fan thumbs up and share it with other net aspirants because as you all know sharing is caring Apart Apart from this, I'm also running a GoNet quiz. You can find the link of all the social media pages in the description box below. If you have not checked the list of writers, you should go to my website arpitakarwa.com and check the list of writers which you must study if you are preparing for UGC Net English. If you like the list, you can also join my online audio course in which I cover all these topics in detail. So with that note, I end my video lecture. Thank you so much. Happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarwa.com. Karva.com.